What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven. This is Steven and Stereo and we are about to react to one of my favorite people in music and that of course is Sir Louis Tomlinson. Today we're going to be checking out um, his Live from London. Now this is a live this was a live stream and I checked out the live stream when it first happened. However, Ryan over on Patreon requested that I actually check out this again and kind of revisit it and talk about it. And I'm really excited. So this is through the dark from that live stream. Before we get into today's video, I just want to plug my Patreon y'all. I have so much Louis Tomlinson and One Direction related content over on Patreon. I don't believe in sponsorships. I don't believe in ads. And so in exchange for that, my patrons support my channel and I appreciate y'all so much. So there's a ton of exclusive content over there. I will say that one of the long videos that we just did for Louis Tomlinson's, we actually did his away from home festival full reaction as a full uncut watch party. So we did the documentary. We also watched the entire live, um, like live performance he did. And that's just one of many. I've got the one direction movie over there. I've done the albums as full uncut album reactions yada 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 so if you guys want to check that out links in the description i appreciate you why or what i appreciate you follow me on instagram and twitter and with all those things out of the way let's listen to through the dark one of the best louis tomlinson songs and uh let's get the vibes tell me that you stand lost your way tell me that you tears are here to stay and i know you only hide it I just want to see it. Fuck. Tell me that you hurt in your pain. I can see your head is held in shame. I just want to see you smile again. Okay. Can you see the emotion in this man's face? Like, after watching the documentary of him, I really got... A, a lot of an understanding as to how much he cares about playing live shows and how much he cares about these performances. I really need you to take a look at the way he grins a little bit right here when he uh, delivers this line, because if you ever want to know why I'm obsessed with him, this is why. God damn. Let's go. Oh my God, those harmonies. Let's go. Okay. Anytime <clears throat> any of these dudes want to play any of these songs, I'm going to be fucking, <clears throat> oh, uh, I'm going to be fucking obsessed. And the reason being is the nostalgia factor is there. The nostalgia just, it hits in the most amazing way too. I love to hear his delivery on various pieces through this. And I love the fact that he is such a powerful voice. And that is something that I think we can all admit that for a long time, we were hoping that he would open up and feel more confident when he was on stage because I felt like early performances of One Direction, he was he was there, he was present, but I think he was still learning about himself and learning about what that power would look like for him, like what it would look like if he just kind of went off. And then you could see through the, through the dark. No, as you could see through the, um, movements of albums and the more tours they did he became more and more comfortable and i feel like that's why um like the san siro show which i did a reaction to on patreon you really saw him out of his shell having a great fucking time and it just like i think that's where i really became obsessed with him <clears throat> what the fuck and after that it was just like in stone right so him on this stage doing this track the amazing delivery from the fucking band right here are you kidding me and then those harmonies that come in this is just an incredible version of this i wish that i could take you to the start never let you fall and break your heart and if you want to cry or fall apart i'll be there to hold you yes tell me that you heard it's all the pain i can see your heart can love again Let's 
let's go. Back to you. Yes, that harmony. Let's go, Louie. I love you. Okay, I'm glad that it's been a while since I've watched this because it really feels like a fresh fucking video. Can we appreciate, oh my God, our Lord and Savior, Louis Tomlinson, hit this again. Daddy. No, no, I didn't go back far enough. Oh, one more. <laughs> All that fucking vocal practice he's been doing. No, no, you gotta do that again. Sorry, dude. what it is i'll tell you what it is that song already means a lot to so many people and i think that you know it's like when we were watching the uh liam payne live stream over on patreon and he made the comment and i think that reigns true right here he made the comment that a lot of these songs when they were performing them originally you know they they meant something to them obviously but as time has gone on these songs mean a lot more and i feel like this is one of those songs the lyricism in this though can be a bit simple is very direct in just kind of having that person with you that is going to carry you on through the toughest times in life and i think that's really important because you know as a band that was a standpoint of hey if things are rough come to our music right but it's also like hey embrace the people around you and know that you are loved and that you will be cared for now louis tomlinson is what i would consider a safe space he is somebody that even though louis flip us the fuck off he is such a safe space he seems to like have true care and compassion for his fan base and for the things that his fan base supports. And I think that coming, this song coming from him feels even more beautiful. Like it feels even more safe because you know that every line that he's singing right there, he fucking means. And if you don't believe that, just go to that first piece in the beginning where he just straight up grins as he's singing this track. I think that says a lot about him. From a musical standpoint, this sounds incredible. The band sounds so great live. They have really great energy between them. I think the chemistry flows so well. There's some really awesome like guitar parts and big drum moments. I love the backing harmonies. And of course, all that leads to a beautiful piece from Louis Tomlinson. I feel like, of course, I watched the documentary. We get it, Steven. You fucking watched something. But the reason I, I want to talk about that is because the amount of work that he puts into his vocals, the amount of work he puts into always working on, you know, being the best vocalist he can, you can hear the growth from the beginning till now. Louis, in my opinion, has my favorite voice essentially, uh, just because he's very much inspired by like the punk rock stuff and 
you know, Oasis and things like that. Really fucking awesome. And at the beginning of the One Direction career, I don't feel like we got to listen to a lot of that. Obviously, they were being kind of told what to do. And I think that unfortunately for Louis, he didn't always get like these, you know, big, amazing parts to do. And I don't think he was still comfortable with his voice yet. So fast forward to all the things we've seen him do. Well, and the last three One Direction albums, duh. But, you know, all the things we've seen him do, he hits some really incredible notes. He's got like, he's taken that punk rock thing and found a way to embrace that style while also trying to add some more classically like trained moments in his music and it it just it's so true here like some really great notes here some really long fucking notes and so much control i don't know how you do that when you smoke so many damn cigarettes louis but alas live your fucking life bro i'm stoked to watch this i just feel like he is somebody in music that it's so easy to love and appreciate and i really hope i get to see him live very very soon um God damn, like I would have the time of my life getting to hang out and listen to Louis Tomlinson. I also one day want to talk to him, not about how much I love him, not about all the impact he's had on music, none of that. I just want to know what his favorite metal bands are. So yeah, if you guys want to help me get in contact with Louis Tomlinson, I appreciate you. But overall, I just want to say thank you guys so much for supporting my page time and time again. Huge shout out to Ryan over on Patreon for actually requesting this. Thank you so much. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this beautiful piece of work from Louis Tomlinson. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.